Hello, my lovely people. So, $9,413.25. And unfortunately, guys, unfortunately, I have to close this trade because market sentiment is changing. But So, yeah, so let's do this, guys. Okay, as you can see, this is a real live trading account. And this was my Bitcoin short trade that I made, uh, you know, that I made on the 15th. So, it makes, here we go, well, $9,500 in profits. Uh, $9,565 in profits. Guys, guys, to find good profitable trading setups, there is no magic. It's really easy. It's dead easy, but as long as you're using the appropriate time frames and the trading tools and confirmations, the sky is the limit, okay? And this is exactly what I'm going to explain in this video. Not just the theory, I'm going to show you exact live action. Okay, that's it. Okay, now it's time to close this trade. Now, let me just show you right here. So, so uh, this is a Bitcoin trade. So what do we how, what do we look at when we trade Bitcoin? Gold, right? Yes, because Bitcoin follows the gold. Gold goes up, Bitcoin goes up. Gold goes up, dollar goes down. Yes, you're right. If you're a subscriber to my channel, then you know these things uh, about currency markets. And uh, Bitcoin is no different. So make sure if you're new, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, and also, when you take a look at our trading group, uh, you know many people are. Have, Many people have made significant, significant gains in this, you know, last in last couple of days because of this uh, cryptocurrency drop, which happened exactly right here. But I entered the trade just before the drop, and I'm going to show you how I was able to find this beautiful sale opportunity. Uh, even though I, you know, I love Bitcoin, I, I'm, I'm not the Mac, Bitcoin Maxi. But I do believe that Bitcoin is gonna reach hundreds of thousands of dollars per Bitcoin in the next, in the near future. But I had to place the sell trade because thing number one, okay, okay, I'm kind of losing money already. So for, for you know, I should close my trade now. But okay, let's do this. Okay, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, uh, so this was my stop loss and my take profit. I kept changing because price price kept going down. But now I'm closing this trade because I want to look for next trading opportunity. So let's do this. One, two, three. You know, the longer you have, you know, the longer you have trade open, the more risk you have. Uh, uh, you know, depends depending on market sentiment. So, so this is my, the only trade that I have closed today on this trading account. Well, over nine thousand in profits. Uh, so so here we are. Now let me just show you, okay? Why did I uh, why did I open this trade? How did I find this trade? And how I was able to place Bitcoin sale trade before the quick Bitcoin and cryptocurrency crash happened last week? Let me show you, okay? So look at this. So so now uh, no 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 what happened? Okay, okay. Bitcoin keep, keep, Bitcoin keeps going down, nice. But now my my goal was to take profits. You know, they, they take profit in this in this uh, key area. What is this key area? This is my Fibonacci retracement line right here. See, this Fibonacci line is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and this is the exact Fibonacci line. Don't believe me? Let's just go back here. Let's take this away, and these are my targets. So my target to take this Bitcoin's uh, Bitcoin profits was, you know, here. Well, I already, I already lost, you know, you know, proportion of my profits. Because there was a big, you know, there was dump on Tuesday, as you can see. But I didn't take my profits. I was too greedy. I was also busy, you know, outside. So then the Bitcoin went up. Okay, reached this level, and now, okay, today, it, you know, it dumps again. But uh, you know, this is the thing. You should always take your profits at your initial take profit target. Now let me show you how I found this trade. So thing number one. Uh, on the 15th of August, the Bitcoin was touching. Look at this. So this is our 200 moving average line. 200 moving average, 200 exponential moving average line. We can we can respect as support resistance as a ceiling. Okay, whenever price is above that, it's a kind of an upward momentum. When the price is below that, it's a downward momentum. So the uh, so the Bitcoin was exploding here. Then once it went below 200 EMA, it kind of wobbled for a long for for several days. Then okay, it wanted to break out. It didn't. It didn't break out. If something does not break out of the 200 exponential moving average line. It means there is not enough buying power, okay? It's so the so the sentiment is bearish and going down. And so so that was thing number one. Next factor. Let me actually go back to that date when I entered the trade. So the 15th uh, 15th of August, uh, right here, here, okay, 15th of August. So next thing, we also at the same time we saw this falling wedge. 
This is actually the indicator, which I showed you, uh, you know, last week. Watch that video if you haven't watched it. So what we do is we extend those lines and, uh, okay, this indicator showed that this was a falling wedge and if, the, if, the, if, it, you know, if it breaks this wedge, then this could be your price target. But can we, can, come on, this is just an indication. But we can use this for our advantage. If it breaks the opposite way, great, we make the opposite, you know, op opposite target. And uh, we, we basically can go short and we can sell this market when that happens. And what happened? Let me just show you. See, extending those lines, so it went down, it went south. It broke this and this by this candle, and, and as you can see, this uh, this red candle, okay, that triggered my, my you know my, my interest and that triggered, and I saw that there was a great great selling opportunity. This candle broke this line, and also it's you know touched this line. Why? Why did the price stop here, and why did I put my white line as a support line in this line in this area? Simply because. Again, I was using the Fibonacci retracement. Look at this. This is uh, this is a uh, 1.618. See, 1.618. Let me remove that. You can see. You see, this is the line. Let me remove this. See, again, any magic here? No. What are we looking for here? Is to get as many confirmations for the sh medium term, short term, uh, so that we can be sure that yes, this could be a great selling opportunity. So, uh, look at this candle, okay? It just went down and it didn't even test it. It just went down, poo! So this was another indication that the price is going to go south, which it did. Then, uh, as you remember, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I told you that the key area for Bitcoin is this 28,640. Once Bitcoin breaks 28,640, that's it. It should go, you know, it, could, it will go down and it will look for next support key levels. And this is what happened. Bam! Just, you know, it broke out of this structure. This structure was actually our weekly support, which we talked about in a couple of weeks ago. And I told you, this, these are my price targets. So it went down, then it, can, you know, kind of consolidating. And then now it's still consolidating. So, uh, so here we go. And as you can now, let me just show you. It's still consolidating, but based on this current price action, uh, Bitcoin could go up because we had a positive NVIDIA earnings report. Uh, and gold pumped yesterday like crazy and I made a video about my $200 challenge and I proved you and I showed you how I was able to make over $5,000 from just $200 in just 8 trades. Education practice is the key. So if you want to join my academy, you're welcome. It's going to be the first link below the video where you can also join my trading group. But now let me show you, okay, this. But uh, if you're a newbie trader, do you know, do you think this is a magic? Look at this. Weekly time frame. It's weekly support. Boom. Weekly resistance. Boom. Why I am looking at this? Because I, I placed the trade in here, you know, when this, before this breakout happened. So let's just go back here, okay? This didn't have, you know, I placed this trade before this breakout happened. So what do you think, you know, when you see something on weekly, uh, having this great, beautiful, okay, bullish channel, and whenever it breaks to the downside, do you think it's an, um, there's a magic that we can all make profits by placing sell trade in here? And now, where do you think we should take our profit from this? You see this yellow line, this one, no, not this yellow line. This is a 200 exponential moving average line. So, look at this. Breakout happened, boom! Breakout happened, we place sale, and we take our profit whenever, you know, a little bit above, a uh, little bit above that 200 exponential moving average line. So there are several ways how to find key levels. One of the best ways is to simply find your support resistance levels by using either psychological levels, Fibonacci levels, which is the indicator that you just saw, or by losing, using moving averages. But the best, and of course the best way is to put them all together. Right, so you may say, okay, Andrew, okay, nice, nice, beautiful trade. Okay, so uh, nine over nine thousand dollar in profits from just one kind of, you know, uh, really simple and stupid trade by looking, just finding the breakout. But now, what's the next, okay, game? So uh, where should I place my next trade? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna place my next trade after this breakout. Why? Because when we take a look at Fibonacci, this is our uh, 0.618 level right here. 
So what's gonna happen? Uh, so let me just put that. Then I draw the line. Let me exit this. So whenever we, whenever I'm gonna see this breakout happening, by new hourly candle, I'm gonna place sell trade. Let me just go here. So it didn't happen because it's testing it because it's our very important key level. Uh, so I'm waiting for new candle. I'm developing just below this, and I'm gonna place my next sale trade. And where I'm gonna take my profits? I'm gonna take my profit based on this uh, structure. I'm gonna take my profit in here, take profit target number one, and take profit target number two. This is again next Fibonacci level, but I will take uh, part of my profits in here, just in case the price goes here and then retraces and goes back up because of this. And this, you know, this previous dip, okay, previous swing low was here, and then next previous long, previous swing low is here. There's never guarantee that it's gonna just simply go to the lowest low in here and then go back up. No, you should always take your profit along the way. This is something else I'm teaching, you know, to, to our members. So here we go, my next trade setup right here. So take profit target number one, but take profit target number two. Stop loss, little bit above previous, uh, previous this key level right here. So guys, please start learning about how to find good trading setups, and not just good trading setups. Just you know, as long as you're able to, uh, as long as you're able to, you know, to find your support and resistance, and then if you're able to identify that there is a squeeze happening, and then whenever you see that the breakout happens either one way or the other way, we place trades whenever the breakout happens, and we can make money both ways. So all you need to do is just, you know, look for these uh, trading setups, look for these breakouts. And always remember that the best trades comes whenever you, for example, this was this triangle, okay? And there was this breakout that happened on the downside, as you can see right here. The best way to enter these trades is wait for the breakout, boom, then wait for the price to go back and retest this and then enter the sell trade. Why? Because once support is broken, Price goes back and tests that, and what happens if the support is broken? It becomes a resistance. And when it retests that as a resistance, that's the best area to enter, enter the trade. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, and if you want to join my trading team and trading group and enjoy profits such as these by following our trades every single day by me and my admins, you're welcome to click on the first link below the video. So stay wealthy, stay healthy. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna monitor the markets. I'm gonna look for my next trading opportunity. Uh, yeah, just what I explained you in this video. I love you all and see you in the next one. And as usual, guys, see you in the next one.